name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our sister has gone to rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome her to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope and eternal life, let us assist her with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be united one day with our sister. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he was our life appears in glory. We read in sacred scripture, Come you who are blessed by my Father, says the Lord, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. This is the will of the one who sent me, says the Lord, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. Our citizenship is in heaven. From it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you. And so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal body. Grant that our sister may sleep here in peace until you awaken her to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. And she will see you face to face, and your light will see light to know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Because God has chosen to call our sister Marjorie from this life to himself, we commit her body to the earth. For we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory, for he is risen the firstborn of the dead. So let us commend our sister to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise up her body on the last day. Dear friends and reverence, let us pray to the Lord, the source of all mercies, and the response following, Lord, have Lord in your mercy is, hear our prayer. Gracious Lord, forgive the sins of those who have died in Christ. Lord, in your mercy, remember all the good that they have done. Lord, in your mercy, welcome them into eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, let us pray for those who mourn. Comfort them in their grief. Lord, in your mercy, lighten their sense of loss with your presence. Lord, in your mercy, Hear increase their faith and strengthen their hope. Lord, in your mercy, Hear let us pray also for ourselves in our pilgrimage through life. Keep us faithful in your service. Lord, in your mercy, Hear kindle in our hearts a longing for heaven. Lord, in your mercy, Hear with longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us pray. Yeah. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant Marjorie. Do not count her deeds against her, for in her heart she desired to do your will. As her faith united her to the people on earth, so may your mercy join her to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish or the sorrowful, you are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. May she rest in peace. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. And may the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.